Mr. A-Town down is the future of this business. Period. End of discussion. Look, I know that's going to piss a lot of you guys off, but uh, I don't care. Because this is the facts. This guy, I feel like I'm picking it up before a lot of people are. This guy gets heat like few others. Dominic Mysterio is great at getting heat too, but I mean, he's kicking the shit out of his dad. I mean, how much more do you need to do to get heat? There's something about Austin Theory, man. He has a star quality about him. This character, I love what Triple H did with it because before pre-Triple H era, Vince had him booked, just classic, you know, just wasting somebody. Handpicked by, you know, the chairman. The classic bad guy. The, the, the entitled new generation selfie-taking kid who wants to be handed everything. And, you know, he was picked and he's a teacher's pet and da 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 Boring stuff. And it completely ruined him for everybody that I know of that watches this product. Including myself. When he won the Money in the Bank thing... And he was just thrown in the match. I was like, no. I couldn't stand Austin Theory. I hated his booking even more. Because it's just complete and utter trash at that point. There's nothing captivating about him. Just, just classic, you know, kissing the boss's ass. Whatever. That's the way it was going. When Triple H took over, and this was around the time where... Um, Survivor Series War Games was taking place. I forgot if he said this either before or after he won the championship that night. That, that Austin Theory that we just mentioned is dead. This kid is hungry, he's driven, and he wants to be the best. He wants to be the forever champ. He wants to be the greatest United States champion ever. And I love that. And Corey Graves was helping him out on commentary. He's not like, Theory stopped worrying about the the social media posts and, and the glitz and the glamour. And he focused more on the success because all the glitz and the glamour it comes after you get the success or something to that effect. And and that and that's the part and that's the and that's the that's the exact moment where I started to get sold on him because that was it was brilliantly done. I was like, yes. And maybe I relate to that a little bit more because, you know, I'm young. I'm going after my career personally, and I'm hungry. I want to go for what I want to go for. Everybody has that feeling, whether you're 40, 30, 20 watching this video. When you want to go for something, you want to be the best, and you want to pursue it, you, you know that feeling. You get that, that fire inside of you. That's what I see in him. And, and I love that about him because he's faced... He's facing the same adversity Roman Reigns had. I mean, it's like looking in the mirror as far as the way he was being booked. Now, I know that kind of doesn't make sense because Roman was booked one way. This kid was booked another way. Completely different things. But it's the same concept. Roman was, you know, overpushed, shoved down everybody's throats. His promo sucked. Yada, 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 yada. And fast forward now, he's the greatest thing in the company today. Theory is going down the same track. And it's and it's and it's apropos because it always happens this way. And so and, and, the, and these wrestling creators, they say it the best too. If you're like the boss has chosen one, you're just never gonna be liked. And that's just because, you know, it seems like you were handed everything and you didn't work for it and da, da 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 But this kid, when Roman told him that your daddy's not here anymore, that just completely destroyed the whole shit, man. So that, I love that line. But this theory is a new theory. After WrestleMania, I genuinely feel like Vince Russo said, I hate Vince Russo. I don't agree with the guy a lot, but he is right about this. After, and Ric Flair said it too, after WrestleMania... Austin Theory is going to become a top-level player because of John Cena. And honestly, and people are like, you know, why is Theory being compared to John Cena? He's more like Orton. I think he's a mix of both. He has that John Cena-esque look and feel to him.
But the, the, the fact that he does so well as a heel, he's able to get that hatred like Randy Orton. I honestly think he's like both, but he's more like Cena. Orton is like a whole different ball of wax. Orton is Orton. Orton is great. So is Cena, but like this kid has more of Cena qualities to me. Like he says, that ruthless aggression uh, version of him is what he saw in theory. This rivalry, this match probably has me the most invested because I've always liked seeing present versus future. I absolutely love that. And that's what we're getting in this match. This is the time to watch Austin Theory. I'm telling you right now. A-Town down is going to take it all over. I'm telling you right now. I have complete faith in Austin Theory. And he's going to beat John Cena at WrestleMania. And I can't wait to see it because this kid is hungry. And he's going to earn everybody's respect within the next two years. I guarantee you that. I, he's already earned my respect because I, I I like this character. I like his song. I like everything about him. He's a, he's a great heel. But I'm telling you right now, I think he's going to be universally liked by the majority of the audience. Or universally means by everybody. He's going to be respected by everybody. Universally, he's going to be respected. Liked, most people are going to like him as a heel. Obviously, the kids are not going to like him. But I feel like everybody my age or older will because, you know, we learn to appreciate the heels when we're older. So let me know what you guys think about Austin Theory. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about him. Uh, do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you think he's got a future here? Or is he just going to fizzle out? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.